Hey guys, my name is Corbin. I'm a freelancer business consultant, and my hope today is that your mind will be opened to a whole new world of work that you've never thought about before. Alrighty, so what exactly do I do? Well, I'm a freelancer or business consultant, which as you can see, once this loads on the right side of your screen, there's they're similar but different. So a freelancer is oftentimes on a freelancer platform. So I'm on Upwork, there's freelancer.com or um, or a variety of others. And I work for anyone I want to. <laughs> I just provide a service to a client or a small business typically, and I just do a job for them. So you might have freelancers who are just data entry people and or data or information translators. Uh, so they might take a pile of papers and type them up and they do that for a company. Okay, great. Or they might translate text from English to Spanish. Now the catch here is that a freelancer doesn't work for a single employer. They work for anyone that will hire them and they just pop in and pop out of different jobs. So that means I have no consistent paycheck. I have no coworkers and I have no boss, which creates a lot of flexibility. <laughs> so that's really good and really hard sometimes. Consulting is similar, but with consulting, it's more about offering strategic advice about the direction of the business. So freelancing is more about a task. Consulting is more about strategy. And so as a consultant, you could go into a small business, a restaurant, a coffee shop, something like that, and say, you know, I am like a pro at TikTok ads. So advertisements on TikTok, and I can help you get more customers into your coffee shop through TikTok ads. And I have this roadmap and it works great and uh, it'll be awesome. <laughs> and they might say, okay, sure, we'll try it. And there you go. You can then be a TikTok ads consultant, but, uh, or you could not be <laughs> up to you. There's all sorts of ways you could take consulting. And so I've taken into the data space or, or um, data visualization or data analyst type space. And so that's kind of my little lane or the spot where I sit is I help people understand and make sense of their numbers. So that brings up the question of how did I get here? Well, I graduated from Shot Mission North High School up in Merriam Mission area. And now, or after that, I went to K-State, got a business degree, go cats, had a great experience there. Love the residence halls. I was actually in the dorms for three and a half years, had a great, great experience. Alrighty. So after that, I went to, I applied at all sorts of different traditional corporate jobs. Nothing opened up. I was just like, so confused. What am I doing wrong? I think I have a good resume. I have this job experience. Like, uh, you know, somebody hire me, please. Well, you know, in life, sometimes doors close in a really hard, painful way so that a better door can open later. And so in the moment, that was really hard. But what I learned looking back now is that I would never be anywhere close to the journey that I'm on now without those doors first closing. So I'm really thankful that uh, no opportunities opened up because now here I am freelancing and I love it. So it's definitely uh, not all rainbows and sunshine. My first year or two of freelancing was really rough. I didn't make a lot of money. For the first two years, I officed out of uh, my old bedroom in my parents' house. That was my office. Woohoo! <laughs> Super fancy. Um, but it worked out, you know. I've upgraded now. I'm still in a home office, which I like. But uh, yeah, I really feel good about where I'm at. I'm making a sustainable living wage, you could say. And I'm very, very pleased with my earnings and um, the lifestyle that it brings. All right. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I build spreadsheets. <laughs> That's it. So people give me their data or their numbers and I help them make sense of it. So these are typically small business owners who reach out to me or I reach out to them and I ultimately help them understand what's going on in their business. And then my other goal is to give them and their employees less stress because they no longer have to do a bunch of tedious manual data entry. And instead they can just click a few buttons and it all happens automatically. So I love when clients say, oh, thank you. You just made my life so much easier by automating this work or by summarizing this information. That was taking me hours a day, or I would take a whole day every month to just try to run these, and I still wouldn't feel good about them. Well, they instead now have all of that happen automatically. So I love that feeling of helping people and um, letting them know that they can actually trust what's going on in their business.
So a lot of times they give me just rows and columns of a spreadsheet and I turn it into something like this. These are two different examples. There's one here in the top left and this is, uh, and then one in the bottom right here. Both are called dashboards and they are just visualizations of data. So charts and graphs and different tables you can scroll through. And there's even a map over here of the United States and all sorts of different things that you can play with. These are built in Google Data Studio. So if you want, go learn Data Studio and you'll be like way ahead of the game. <laughs> uh, but Data Studio is a great software. It connects to Google Sheets. And so any numbers that you have in Google Sheets, you can make into these really fancy charts and graphs and they look really fun. <laughs> All right, so advice I would give to teenage me. A couple things. First, there's a website called udemy.com. It's a place where you can take online courses for like 10 bucks. And so instead of paying $1,000 to K-State, or sorry, $1,000 um, yeah, $1, to K-State or $300 to Johnson County Community College, you could pay um, just 10 bucks and learn a lot. Maybe not the same thing, but a lot. I will say there's still value in the four-year degree, but um, there's a lot you can learn with that one too. So that's a much bigger conversation that you should really talk to your counselors about and your teachers about um, whether you should or should not go to a four-year program. But all I'm saying is Udemy is a really great resource to augment or, or add additional training beyond whatever formal training you're getting. For example, I went to K-State, got a degree. I grew a lot as a person while I was there too. And then I used Udemy classes for 10 bucks to kind of like level up my skills. Once I learned what I wanted to focus on, Udemy was my way to focus and develop more of those skills. Second, guys, please save yourself so much. Um, try to worry less. It's going to be okay. Like, man, I've wasted so much time and energy and joy in my life worrying. It does you no good. Okay, <laughs> just relax. It's going to be all right. Next up, be diligent, not lazy. This is really kind of tough to, to balance, but try to be diligent, not lazy. It'll take you so far in life. Next, look for problems around you. Every problem is an opportunity. Lastly, lean into math, finance, and data. Guys, you're going to have to learn it eventually, so um, just tackle it. You know, I still hate taxes and figuring out tax stuff, but that's kind of on my list for 2022 is to learn it or at least lean into it a bit and try to learn it. So just accept it like it's going to suck and you're just going to have to learn it. So lean into it. It's okay if you don't love it. You don't have to. You don't have to be a data person like me, but just try take another step and say, you know what? I'm going to try. And you'll see that you're going to get a lot farther than you were the day before. Finally, down here, it says relax and just have fun. Ultimately, guys, you're young. Enjoy it. Um, don't do anything stupid, but <laughs> have some fun. And uh, yeah, I wish you guys all the best in your careers as they launch. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can email me or find me on LinkedIn. My name is Corbin Tannehill. You can just look me up. And I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Thanks so much, guys. All the best.